Hey, what's up? Zigzer here. Although buying a pre-owned iPhone is guaranteed to be cost-effective, there are some factors you need to consider before going ahead with the purchase to avoid unnecessary expenses. In this video, I will show you three different things to look for when buying a used iPhone. Let's go. Instead of following the trend and buying the latest model, which will definitely cost a lot, I personally like to get a used iPhone that is one to three versions older than the most recent model. If you intend to get one for yourself, keep in mind that while saving money is great, durability must still come first when making a purchase. For your reference, here are some key points to consider. First, the device must not be iCloud locked. Activation lock is a security feature that is automatically enabled when Find My is set up on an iPhone. This is the most important thing to check because it specifically prevents anyone from reactivating the device without the permission of the original Apple ID owner that was registered when the iPhone was first set up. If iPhone is reset and you see the Hello screen, connect your device to a nearby Wi-Fi or hotspot so it can connect to Apple's servers and check if it is iCloud locked. Everything should be fine if you click through the entire setup process without seeing an activation lock message. However, if the phone was already set up, check the settings at the top to see if you can sign in with your own Apple ID. It is also advisable to ask the owner whether the device still has its original components or if it has been refurbished. Original parts are generally considered preferable, but any repair performed by Apple is also good. In addition, be sure to perform an external inspection of the device to detect any scratches, dents, or cracks. If you get a heavily discounted iPhone with a cracked back glass, it may be a viable option, especially if you plan to use a protective case. Ultimately, it comes down to your personal preferences. Then, make sure all buttons and the touchscreen are in optimal working condition to ensure a fully functional device. Also check that the port still works and that the device charges when plugged in. Test out the camera as well. Make sure the sensors are still working especially for the Face ID verification, which is often a problem on iPhones. You can test this by using Portrait Mode in the Camera app. If Portrait Mode works and the background is blurry when you take a selfie, you know Face ID should work. To check that the speaker and microphone are both working properly, you can use the Voice Memos app to test each. Last but not least, check the iPhone's battery health status. Battery health percentage refers to the condition and overall capacity of the device's battery, which determines the usability and longevity of the iPhone. To check, open Settings and scroll down to Battery. Go to Battery Health and Charging and check the maximum capacity percentage. Personally, I don't recommend buying an iPhone with a battery health level significantly lower than 80%. Any device with a higher battery level should probably last a day. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.